Hey y'all, this is Keeping It Real with Linda. I'm back with another video. So today, I came to eat and talk a little with y'all. So I'm gonna eat my black eyed peas, my chicken, my cabbage, my cornbread. And I would have been back sooner, but I ran out of storage and I had to go to the phone company to see how to, you know, empty my storage. So of course, you know what they did. I had to buy more storage, so that's okay. Here I am, I'm back. So, I'ma be honest, let's keep it real. I know that I told y'all we're gonna sit down and eat, and the name of my show is Keeping It Real with Leonard, so my word also is real. And here I am, and here I go, and y'all just watch this video. Okay, but y'all see me, I'm finna eat this food. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is my first time. Y'all hear my chicken? That's my crispy chicken. Chicken, y'all. Look at that chicken. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, let me eat some more of my beans. And this is my cornbread. Gotta give me some cabbage, y'all. I gotta get some cabbage. Mmm. 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 Y'all, that buttermilk cornbread? Oh my God. It's delicious, too. Yes, it is. Mm. And I'm gonna tell you, I saw your baked chicken. Y'all see that skin? It's crispy. But what I was gonna say, I had left and went to the store and told my husband to take my chicken out. And um, he laid the side in a little bit too long. So that's why it looked kind of dark like that. But the crispy stayed in. So what I'm saying, you bake your chicken, don't let it stay in a real long time. I think I baked this for like, well, it probably been an hour cooking, like an hour and a half. But I had it left. And my husband will stay in longer. But it's still good. So, this video here is just eating and talk about anything. You know, I'm just talking about anything because it's my very first time. Am I nervous? Yes. Uh, it's my viewers, my subscribers that are watching. I pray that, you know, all y'all understand my first time doing this. Because everything that I have did, I learned it on my own. Um, when I first started out, my little great nephew helped me out. And he was like 13 at the time. And then my little granddaughter, well, my granddaughter, the sister, she was nine. And she helped me out, you know, edit some of my video. So one day my nephew, he said, hey, Amanda, he said, you got to learn how to do it yourself. And my nephew wrote every step down to show me how to edit a video and how to load it. And I had a few bumps in the road, messing up, recording when it wasn't recording, all that so slow mode. I did. I I I lost a lot of video doing this myself. I really did. I lost a lot. 
it cost me. I was losing video that I couldn't get back. Cause that was a lot of cooking. There's a lot of video that I had record right to this day still have never been posted because I never recooked it yet. But I am. I'm gonna repost it. I got to. And uh, since I'm on here, uh, I just want to thank each and every one of y'all that watch my video, subscribe, share, like. I thank all of y'all for the support. Because that's what wrong with the world now. We need to support one another in our doing. You know, we need to come together as a community. You know, love one another, respect each other. You know, support each other. Not talk about a person uh, for how you see it. Uh, you think it should be this way, but you can always be judgmental uh, about other people's action. But the question, ask yourself, could you do it? When you see wrongness, what somebody is doing, ask yourself, could you do it? Or uh, you might can do it better. So that's one thing about life. You never told to learn nothing. And a failure ain't nothing but a triumph. Never be afraid to try nothing. All my life, I tried many things. Some I succeed, some I fail. But my failing don't stop me from keep trying. Well, the bread going down the wrong pipe. My failure do not stop me from trying. Because as long as you have breath in your body and you got your sound mind, your health and your strength, you can do anything that you put your mind to. You can do it. Mm -hmm. You can really do it. There's no shame in my game. Because every day that the Lord bless me to wake up, I'm thinking this mind never stop running. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking all the time. Like my video, I watch YouTube. I watch the people, what they do, how they do. Then I say, hmm. But you don't do what they do. You you do what you know how to do. You just looking at, oh, okay. It give you ideas on how YouTube works. You know, not to be a copycat. But whatever you see, and I'm telling you, it's good to look at other people's recipes. It really is good because it's some stuff people putting out there that you once knew about that you hadn't thought about for years. And you say, oh yeah, now I remember, you know. But whatever you do, do what you know best to do. Because you can't never do what another person do you can just do what you know how to do it. Do. And you can be better or greater at what other people do. Life ain't nothing but a challenge. If you don't try it and challenge your life, what you gonna do? Never be a follower. Never be a follower. Whatever you do, you know this is exactly what you want to do. Not by nobody influencing you to do it. Make your decision wise to the level you do. Because what I'm doing right now, trust me. I know y'all probably won't talk about me. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. But guess what? Talking never stops nothing. Pointing fingers never stop nothing. Only to the weak. You know, only strong survive. So, more, more like what I'm saying. But good work. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna love it. 
because I'm just being me. I'm just being real. If anybody got any suggestion on, you know, why I can sit down and talk about it. I'm not going to keep doing just cooking all the time. I want to just sit down and eat. And no, I'm not going to have all that food sitting up, you know, like I see a lot of channels. I'm not doing what I see somebody out there. I'm just doing things my way. I just want y'all to understand. Keeping it real with Flunda, I do things my way. I don't do what other people do. Because what works for them, it might not work for me. So I got to do me like I know how to do me. So I'm just putting it out there. Y'all going to see me do, see a lot of sit down eating. One day will be in my nerve of the go live. You know, you know, I'm not ready for that yet. Because uh, I see other people, excuse me, dealing with so much negativity, what people say. You know, but uh, I can't let that stop me from trying everything. And I'm not going to let that stop me. I just got the... Um, my little skin came on. Give me my skin. Get up there. Oh. See, that's too crispy, but it's crispy. Yeah. I just want to keep my word with y'all. Mmm. I'm starving or something. Y'all have any advice? I'm up for advice. I'm a good listener. I don't mind about telling me how to do something. Because you might know what I need to know and don't know. So I'm up for that. Leave it down below in my comments. And give me some, um, tell me what y'all want me to cook for. Something, what y'all want me to do up. What y'all want me to sit down and talk about? I can do that too. And I don't want to be like, I'm running all over the place, confusing my subscribers, my bureau. I don't, I don't want to do stuff like that, you know. I want to keep it on the, on the level it's supposed to be on. I don't want to jump from cooking, then... Well, I can cook and sit and eat. You know, I don't know how to show y'all the cooking part. Just sit down, tell y'all what I'm eating. You know, I would love to do that. So y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Uh, y'all tell me about what you think about me doing live videos sometimes. Sit down, sit down, y'all, sit down. Cause I'm not comfortable right now cooking, people watching me cooking live. Ain't got that good yet, y'all. So bear with me on that one. In time, the, the more you stay in it, the better you're going to get. And I believe that in everything in me. I believe that. And if there's anybody out there want to do YouTube or cooking channel or Whatever your gift file, don't sit on it. Don't be scared. Just get up and try it. You don't know what you can do till you try it. I didn't know what I was doing. I promise y'all, I didn't know nothing. All I know, my son upgraded my phone to an And I was looking at YouTube, and I'm seeing what all these people cook. I said, oh, I can cook that. So behold, one day after plenty. Some say, get up out that chair and go in that kitchen store cooking. Put your phone on record. And baby, trust me, I did just that. And when I post my, I post three videos, I ain't know what I was doing. I didn't know about editing. I didn't know you had to um, cut stuff out. I didn't know none of that. I just did it. 
thumbnail, intro. I have an intro that's the best I got right now. It's going to get better in time. I'm still learning how to do intros. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with what I already got, the intro that y'all see before my video. That's where it's going to be right now because I'm still learning. I'm still watching. And uh, I know it's simple, but when you don't know how to do it, it's not simple. And we stir you right in the face. This is how you do it. But you got to get that final point that you got to say, oh, I got it. And then you try it. You know? No, that's what I do. Yeah. I never stop trying. Like today. I already got a become video. But today, I got to make some overcome candy because I say overcome candy. So I'm at least make, I might make a hundred, uh, at least 60 at the most. I, I have to have them ready on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. That's why I said my pecan candy. And it is delicious. Try my recipe. Guess what? I'm getting full. The chicken was good. You can taste all the season. Like I say, don't cook the chicken real long because it get too hard. I'm just being honest what happened to mine. That because I had to leave. And my husband forgot it was in the oven. But it's okay. It's still eatable. I promise you. And I got to get this lead little piece of chicken right here, y'all. And my black eyed peas are good. With my okra. And like I say, it's a new year. And anything I know that we really could do is try to keep living, love one another, respect each other, come together as unity. You know, and we got to put our faith and keep our eyes on God. Because decision is not for us to make. We have to go to God first for everything. We got to put him first within all I'm doing. We got to stop thinking we're doing everything ourselves. Because we're not. We can't do nothing but our God. So I'm just telling y'all beginners, just like me, I'm a beginner. And I'm up for any suggestion any idea somebody tell me how to make it better for me i promise you i respect you and i will read your comment and i will try i'm not too good to try something somebody is telling me no because the more people you know they say a closed book don't get read a closed mouth don't get fed so you don't know what's inside that book if you read you start off in the middle Reading, you don't know what happened at the beginning, and you didn't know what happened at the end. All you know the middle, and you can't tell the story because you left two chapters. That's the beginning and the ending. So, I say all that to say this: I'm up for any suggestion to help me make my channel better. You know, and I will try. But I'm also letting y'all know too. I will be doing more of these sit down talk video. Y'all tell me, comment, tell me what to talk about. We can talk about it, you know. And I will read y'all comments and answer y'all comments. I will. So well, y'all, this is it. I'm full. I told y'all I will sit down and eat my New Year's dinner and talk with y'all. And my word is my God. <clears throat> oh, I need to change my name top. But I believe in keeping my word with people. And I hope that y'all enjoy the video. I know 
you might see something wrong with the lighting. Of course, I'm just using an iPhone 13. An iPhone 13 sitting in my dining room. I got an island in my kitchen, but I don't know how to sit at the island and record, so I'm learning. Because my back will be to the sink and my island is to the wall because I have a small kitchen. So I'm going to figure that one out well. I probably will shoot some videos in there to y'all. Y'all, I just want to say um, Happy New Year's again to everyone. Um, thank God that we live to see 2022. And I pray that everybody be prosper in this year. Stay blessed, stay happy, stay out of trouble, and keep it real. Because this is the new beginning for all of us to find ourselves. Try some start a business. You know, I don't know. But I don't like making you New Year's revolution. Because guess what? You know, ladies, I promise you. Everybody, well, I'm going to do this here and this year come in, and I ain't going to do that no more. And get what? We catch ourselves doing the same thing, so I'm not going to put that jack out on Okay, y'all? Okay, to all my kings and queens, my subscribers, my friends, my everything out there. Y'all keep watching my video. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. Until my next video. Bye.